Hello everyone, welcome to your MBBS guide, The Horizon. In this video, we will discuss about which book to read in first year MBBS. As you know, there are many books like the gold standard book, reference book and student friendly book and of course the exam books that we read at the end of the year. So this video is all about which book is student friendly. There are gold standard books like Grey's Anatomy, Harper, Lippincott's but is it possible to read and remember and that is given in those books. Talking about individual subjects and I'll be telling you the gold standard book that we all know and the student friendly book that will help you individually to regain and retain the information that is given in the book. Starting from anatomy. For anatomy, you all know that Gray's Anatomy is the gold standard book. But is it possible to remember the bulk of information that is given in that book? It is possible to read the information but to remember all those informations and that also in a paragraph manner is not a cup of tea for everyone. Before coming here, I was so enthusiastic and I purchased this Grey's Anatomy and you know I just read one unit from this book that was Upper Limb and all the differences that I will be telling you is based on that. Vishram Singh and P.T. Charasya are the modified version of Grey's Anatomy. They have given every information that is written in Grey's Anatomy in tabulated form, point-wise form, so that it is possible for the students to read the informations that are given in Grey's Anatomy. The only difference that I found in Grey's Anatomy and these books is the clinical correlation. Clinical correlation is enforced by giving x-rays, pictures and case studies but in Vishram Singh these cases are given in boxes but not in that detail. So it will be good for you if you read the information thing from Vishram Singh and go for clinical case correlations. If you want to read these cases you can refer Gray's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy can be your reference book but it cannot be your textbook because textbook is something that is student friendly and a student should be able to revise that book. For Anatomy is Vishram Singh uh, that has four volumes and a neuroanatomy is given separately. Uh, the 0th volume is the general anatomy. You need not buy that book because the content is so short. You can download the PDF and you can read it from the soft copy. You need not buy hard copy of that. But the 1st, 2nd and 3rd volume are really very important. 1st volume is about the upper limb and the thorax. 2nd volume is about abdomen and all. 3rd volume is net, head and neck. For head and neck, you have two options. Either you can Either you can buy uh, this book that is head, neck and brain or you can buy the clinical neuroanatomy. But I think you should read this book because it has used so many pictures and every information is given in this. There is another book for anatomy that is the Atlas. For, uh, for Atlas, everyone will be telling you to purchase Netter's Atlas. One another book is also there that is MacLeod's or something like that. But that book has given the real picture. But I think it is possible to read from the diagrammatic. Like here everything is represented in diagrammatic form. So I think it is possible to read from this book. And Netter's Atlas is really very important. But need not purchase the Atlas. You can have a soft copy of it and you can refer to that whenever you want. There are two small subjects uh, in anatomy that is histology and embryology. Histology I refer to IBS for histology and it is a really very good book but uh, the PowerPoint presentations that are given by the teachers here are enough for that. So if you want you can have a soft copy of it. Hard copy is not really that mandatory but if you are really interested in reading you can have IBS about uh, human embryology the book that is recommended here is Langman's but I found IBS as uh, very good because the diagrams that are given here is easy to remember and to draw in examinations now talking about biochemistry uh, we, uh, our recommended book was Vasudevan but I am so sorry I didn't this book in the first year because it, it because it was 
tough to read this book. It was tough. It was really tough. So uh, which book I referred? So Prasad is followed here by each and every student because Prasad is this much and a small book and it has given all the information that you need to remember for your examination point of view or from any competition point of view. Talking about the concepts, for concepts I think Lippin Courts is one of the best book, is one of the best book that I ever read. Lippin Courts is given in so much detail and the diagrams makes the text so easy for each one of us to understand. So I think to understand the concepts and when your classes are going on, you can refer to Lippin Gods. And for examination or to remember something, you can refer Prasad. I think those two combinations will be enough for you. That combination will be enough for you for biochemistry. Uh, now talking about the another subject that is physiology. For physiology all over India, just two books are so famous. Ganok is Lini, because I read so much. No, it's not like that. Guyton is the best book that I ever read. Guyton is really so good. But Yad Kitna Rata. Yad bhi Rata. I know. Bohat sari logo ne bologa because uh, that Guyton is like storytelling book. You will not remember anything. But I passed my first year reading Guyton. And Genong is the reference book. Genong has, um, Genong mein zyada focus clinical correlation pe kiya gaya hai. And the tabular things, the charts, the boxes that are given in Genong are really very important. Usme clinical correlation wale cases aate exam mein. But to understand the concepts, I think Guyton is best. So Guyton is our textbook and Genong is our reference book. You can have a soft copy of reference book that is Genong and you can have a hard copy of Guyton. Reading Guyton is mandatory for physiology because you will be implementing all these knowledge, all these concepts in second year, third year and fourth year. So physiology is the backbone of every clinical subject. You cannot ignore the subject. It's Genong, what to do with Genong. These two books, dono book, bohat zyada lengthy hai and it's not possible to read both the books. So you can read Guyton as your textbook and you can carry Genong to your SGT classes or to your classroom. So when the teacher will be emphasizing on some clinical concepts, you can refer to Genong there. And when the examination will be there, you can just refer to those boxes that are given because that box is very important. For CNS, I found that Guyton and Genong, both are equally important. CNS need dono padhne ki zarurat padegi, but in nutshell, uh, you need to buy Vishram Singh, Prasad and Guyton. IBS and for embryology, IBS, these two are optional. If you want, you can buy. If this video was helpful to you all, do hit the like button. That will mean a lot to me. Thank you and have